What is up guys, Matt here from the Toasty Bros and I recently made a video which you can check up right here in the eye in the top right corner of my new $280 laptop. This laptop works really well for word processing, watching YouTube videos, sending emails, all the basic things that I really picked this laptop up for. But the main question I keep getting in the comment section is, Matt, can it play games? Can it do this? Can it do that? And the easy answer for me to let you know is no, it doesn't play games, it's not made for that, but you know what? It's worth making a video on and testing it. So without further ado, let's push this little bad boy to its limits and try a couple of titles. We're gonna be playing Gary's Mod in Skyrim just to represent a few different game groups and let's see how this bad boy performs. So without further ado, let's roll that intro. <laughs> So as I said, I picked up this laptop for $280 on Amazon. It's a really nice notebook. It does the job. It's very thin, has a nice profile. I like the way it looks and it does a job for me for emailing and using Twitter and watching YouTube videos and Twitch streams, that sort of thing. So I'm really not needing this for a gaming machine, but you all in the comments have pretty much convinced me I need to do a video on this. So basically we're gonna do a couple of game tests. I have Gary's Mod installed and Skyrim. The main reason I installed these two titles, which are totally random by the way, is because Jackson decided to test his new notebook, which you can basically see in a video right here when he uploads it. So whenever that's uploaded, I'll put a link right here. He had this laptop and he installed Gary's Mod and Skyrim, did some tests on it and told me that things were pretty good. So a little bit teaser, his laptop does perform very well for a very lower price tag. So I think he got the better deal than I did, but Besides that, let's get right into the gaming here. So first off, we launched Gary's Mod, and Gary's Mod, it ran. It, it kind of worked. Um, Gary's Mod really isn't a high-intensive title. It's a source game on basic source engine, so I really wasn't expecting that much. But I booted in with the actual base resolution, lowered some of the settings to medium, uh, disabled all anti-aliasing and that sort of stuff, and I managed to crank out a little bit of an average of like 30 or so FPS. It, it works, it functions. There are some dips and there are some problems where basically you're opening stuff up and it shows that this CPU is thermal throttling. So I was really disappointed with how that performed. I thought it would be a little bit better than that, but I don't blame the actual chip. I blame the cooling on it. I think the chip could actually play games a little bit better if it wasn't thermal throttling all the time. I really did not want to launch Skyrim because I knew if Gary's mod was gonna be struggling, Skyrim was gonna be a crap ton of issues and I was right. The FPS is pretty much unplayable. It's around 15 FPS at most, and it really just struggles. It's an older title, and I really can't play it. So the gaming issue, you know, I don't think this laptop is meant for gaming. Maybe if you lower the resolution to 800 by 600 and you can survive that by that, you may be able to perform a little bit better, but I really didn't want to test it because it's not worth testing because, I mean, it's a 200 AR laptop. Laptops really aren't meant for gaming in the first place, and especially when at $280, this one is not going to be good for gaming. So... Basically, a quick conclusion. This was a very quick video in general. This gaming laptop is not a gaming laptop and it's not going to play games. Um, it's meant for email replying, writing up documents, YouTube, Twitch, that sort of thing. Um, but it's not gonna be playing any games, definitely not AAA titles, and that did not surprise me one bit. But I wanna let you all know about it and get some people to check this video out. So if you like this video, leave a like. If you dislike the video, leave a dislike. Leave a comment down below if you like the video and you wanna give me some feedback or that sort of stuff, or you wanna call me a ugly pineapple, I don't know, whatever you all do out there nowadays in the YouTube comments. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Be sure to subscribe and check out all our other social media links. Peace out.